Corruption and corruption leads to corruption. It would be. I'm not a Yeah. Well, hopefully. I've experienced that. I had a vice cop arrest me one time. Um, because he sat there and said that. Good. How you doing, sir? We're just about done, Captain. He uh, he turned around and said that he's seen a drug deal in a in my car, and I'm like, you're joking me. He goes, no. I go, no, this is a friend of mine. And he goes, well, I seen her hand you something. I go, yeah, it's a $20 bill. And it's because she owes me money. And she called me up, asked me to pick her up because she had $20. Well, I don't believe you, right? And uh, he didn't, uh, there was nothing to arrest me for and stuff like that. There's some prescribed medication that was in the car and stuff. Um, so he gave me a warning about the prescribed medication in the car. Um, but he strip searched her out there on in, on the street. What was this happening? In in Portland. Okay. Um, That's a no no. You don't do yeah. that in public. And so. <laughs> I would agree. And so um, when 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 he got done, um, he left. But he did search my car without my permission, which was nice of him. Um, and, you know, he left, and I talked to her and took her home and asked her if she wanted to file a complaint how to do that. Um, and uh, he took my $20, right? And in the report, he, he said he took $20 off of me. But on the property sheet, uh, it didn't say anything about $20. And when officers uh, take, take your property in Portland, they give you another sheet, the uh, property that's been confiscated. Yeah, like a receipt. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't on that either. So there's no proof on any of the paperwork except the police report that he took the 20 bucks. Now the question is, where did that 20 bucks go? She, she didn't get it. When I went to the property room and asked them about it, they didn't know anything about it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Looks like they're getting ready to wrap up. Yep. The other issue that I have with, with a lot of the police agencies around is they like to give their informants money and stuff like that. Um, I think if they catch someone doing drugs or they catch someone breaking the law, um, it should be a court situation where they go to court. They shouldn't be offered money or reduce sentences or well, we're, we're not going to file charges because you're cooperating. Yeah, there, there's an argument to that for sure. I've heard that before. You know. <laughs> At least they remained professional and didn't try and tell us we had to turn off our cameras. Oh. So were you the one I was following earlier? Were you the one I was following earlier? Are you following me? Probably. We've... We were following one female officer. That was me. That was you? Hey, it could have been me just because I got no hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I think that's the funniest shit I've heard in a while. So anyways, uh, and we're going to the hospital talk to the and then the mom must talk to me. So we're going to the hospital now, so. Captain, you just give me my keys. Mansfield. Hi. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. My keys are locked door. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Mansfield. If you see us, if you see us following your car or yeah, or other police officers, uh -huh. we're cop watchers. We go around from the police. We have no intent on hurting any of the officers or anything like that. That'd be bad. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> you ready to go? I'll meet you there. I'm so pretty nice. We got to go to yeah. the call. Sorry, guys. All right. Oh, uh, it's all good. Y'all be safe. Keep your head on a swivel. I guess I'm out of stuff to do. <laughs> have a good one, Captain. So, are they arresting this guy? I noticed they're searching him. He's still in cuffs. Oh yeah, no, he's under arrest. Yeah. For stabbing someone or cutting their hand? Well, it's still active investigation, so I'm still going to decline to talk about that. Okay. But, but I can't tell you he's under arrest. It's pretty clear. We uh, can always file a FOIA request. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. And that 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 weapon that I seen that looked like a t what was that a 
looked like a dueling sword. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, the, black, the black whatever swords they pulled out of the car. Uh -huh. Yeah, because yeah, those weren't those your traditional machetes. <laughs> I, have a tra I have a traditional machete in my tent for cutting down bush. Yeah, yeah. They, they look novelty, but uh, usually they're sharp. They look like dueling mm -hmm. swords. Are they illegal yeah. in Washington? No. No? No. If we took them, it'd be as evidence, right? Okay. But now let me ask you this. If he was a felon and had those, would it be a crime? No? All right. All right, you be safe, sir, or Captain. All right. Now I want to go talk to this guy. <laughs>